Good morning, Calvary. Pastor Chad with your word for the day. Hey, how much debt do you think the average American has on their credit cards? I don't know what number you're thinking, but I looked it up. And the average American credit card holder, so not even household, but holder. So if the husband has one and the wife has one, the average American credit card holder has $6,000 of debt on that credit card. And then the average American who has a car loan owes $26,000 towards that car. And then if you put it all together, the average American household has $38,000 in non-mortgage debt, non-secured debt, $38,000 per household. Now, of course, that number ranges and differs based on socioeconomic groups and where you are regionally, all different kinds of things. I'm not gonna get into that. What I know is this, there's a lot of people who are drowning in debt. I remember when, uh, well, I'll just tell you, my wife and I, we had a kind of an addiction to overspending for years and years and years. And I remember when it was time to pay bills and I would just get so anxious and so frustrated and so angry because I hated writing those checks because I knew that I had way too much debt. And uh, Proverbs 22, verse 7 says, The rich rules over the poor, and the borrower is a slave to the lender. And, and what that means is, is when you owe all that debt, it, it, you feel like a slave. You feel like you're trapped by it. You feel crushed by it. It's just pressing in on us. And, and we don't want to be in that place. Nobody wants to be in that place, which is why here at Calvary, we encourage people to take Financial Peace University by Dave Ramsey. In fact, we offer it uh, several times a year. Uh, probably going to be offering a course this fall. Hope maybe if you're somebody who's dying in debt, struggling with debt, that uh, you might sign up for that course because it teaches you how to manage your money and how to get out of debt and how to live debt free. In my own story, in my own life, uh, I wish that somebody had introduced me to Financial Peace University when I was a young man, but uh, they didn't or I didn't listen. And so we had to get out of debt and it took a long time to do that. It was crushing, but right now uh, it's been uh, years, probably over a decade since we've had any credit card debt and we're living debt free at, at this point in our lives. And it is so freeing and it is so comforting and so exciting to be in that place. And, and I would pray that you could get there too. And in fact, I know you can get there too. So uh, if uh, you can buy the Dave Ramsey stuff and do it on your own, you can take the class when we offer it, uh, other people offer it, but it's a way of getting out of debt so that you can find freedom because Christ came to set us free. Yes, spiritually, he wants to set us free from addictions, he wants to set us free, but he also wants to set us free from debt. And by the way, if you're listening to this and you're thinking, well, that doesn't apply to me because I'm a senior citizen. Guess who has the most credit card debt uh, per age group? That's right, it's 65 and older. So uh, just because you're old like me doesn't mean you're immune to the problem, to the slavery of debt. So uh, my challenge to you is to get serious about getting free because you can do it. And if you're sitting there thinking there's no way I can't get out, ask for help. That's the first step and finding freedom. We've got people who can help you and we would love to make that happen. So just contact me at the church, email me, uh, call me and set up an appointment. We'll, we'll get you hooked up. We'll find someone who can come alongside you and offer you some counsel and some hope for your struggles. I hope this blesses you today. I hope this helps you and I, help, I hope this motivates you to get free financially. God bless Calvary.